Welcome, let's stream Linux on Ubuntu 21.04. We're going to use the x.org driver, Novo. We're not going to use the NVIDIA proprietary drivers. We're also going to use Wayland and not x11. This is a test of using Wayland, it's not the recommended approach. If possible, I recommend you use Ubuntu 20.04 with x11 instead of Wayland. At the current time, there's no advantage in latency or other advantages of using Wayland. The installation process is the same as on 2004. Get the library libubc theta. This version has been patched to support the Rico theta Z1 and V. I'll cover the testing of both libubc theta as well as the libubc theta sample application. This video does not cover getting the video stream to dev video. This only covers displaying the video in the sample GStreamer application. The libuvc theta sample application will display it to the screen. When you build the libuvc theta, if you're missing any of the libraries, the build will fail. We've documented the required libraries both on the forum at community.theta360.guide as well as in other online documentation places. After you run CMake, make sure that you have libusb, the dev libraries installed. The libusb dev package is not installed on Ubuntu by default. You can install it with apt. If you're missing any of the major packages, you can probably just search on Google with the package name and just type your version of Ubuntu. Once you've verified you have all the packages required, uh, make it and then make install. Make sure you're also using libuvc hyphen theta, which has the patches that are required for the Rico theta cameras. You may need to run ld config. Uh, in my case, I didn't. The libraries are installed in user local lib. The default decode bin and audio video sync works on my system. With the libraries installed in the previous step, you should be able to make the system. The main file is GST Viewer. GST Loopback is a symbolic link. We, we won't cover GST Loopback in this video. The video is displayed in 4K equirectangular. I'm using a stopwatch to check the latency, which appears to be about 600 milliseconds. Using X11 with the NVDEC, we had lower latencies. Continue our tests with Wayland. 